Let's let's give them credit it's, where it fair point. can it's be fair given. Point. The composition perhaps a little bit better for Nidalee. Of course, you're still going to be able to help out with some utility there. You can kind of combat the poke with the Varus. Uh, maybe we're reading into it a little too much, mm. but, you know, <laughs> yeah, they I mean, are peaking it for a reason, I'm sure. Yeah, it's definitely been set a little bit further behind, not just by the red buff, but just back up. Yes, yeah. difference. Crazy's in some trouble. You're a little bit too forward. He flashed with the javelin and already made his mark, and it's another pounce. And there is first blood for Swift. Rolling threat. He was two levels above just a moment ago. Is Athena. Going Switch a little bit low there. Yeah. Pressure towards him. He is going to have to flash away from that one. It was just 1B trying to lock him up. So it's given QG this early game edge. TNCT goes in and he finds Athena quick. Yep, that will be a very, very quick kill for Swift there. As a headbutt forward, didn't go for the pole raise on the tower as well. He knew that he wanted to shift Athena away from that safe zone. No, nope. Don't quite have the ultimate on Alistair, but crazy. crazy. He's done. All right, headbutt goes in. He's going to get knocked up as well. Even the grand challenge being used just for some sustain under the tower, but it's not required. And three for none for QG. And Swift has been all about it. One javelin, and it's going to be lights out for that Varus as well. He looks to want to come forward a little bit. That might have actually worked against it. All chains of corruption to slow them up there as well. And that will have the intended effect. They're not able to get close enough as well. Pillar of Frost coming up. All filthy in this case. It may as well be a giant growth being used by Doombi. And he's going to get exhausted too. ESCA coming forward. They want this one badly. Doombi does drop down as well, but it's traded away because there's still the swift factor he's still there doing some serious work and Ares has to back right up it's one toe out of line swift will be pouncing all over him there goes the spear instant flash but it's burnt yep. he's trying to be playing in the counter jank capacity but it's not meaning much the teleport coming in it was actually parried away they're crazy now just moving back is swift now trying to escape from Ares. he took too much damage off the front foot there and Ares is going to come forward it's a flash from dawn b and that definitely going a little bit south there for qg on their attempted gank uh, both opt into mid to late game team fights so we might see some more attention up top swift going towards crazy there as well and v already opening things up with a bit of damage it's just as easy as that that's the fifth kill now for swift he's got all the kills of qg but he's giving out assists left right and center he's not no flash He's got no chance. And Ares also got out with Spirit Rush. He can't come towards the top side. Crazy's going to go down. That thing is for certain. But now QG might actually decide to go for even a turret here at this stage. We are 14, 15 minutes in now, and not one of them has fallen yet. What is ever achieving while the team continues to return and go back to the top lane, get the easy kill on Rise? The answer so far has been nothing. Finally, they're creating some pressure around, but they're looking for a pick on TNT. TNT is exhausting. There's a flash being burned, but it's going to be the unburrowed just under him. He will be caught here. Easy as you like, and ESC finally starting to get their head above the water, but the tide is rising. Baron now going to be taken away. QG will work this one down oh so quickly. I'll just slow down a little bit. Only 15 minutes into so it's just the Rift Terror oh now. My Lord. No Baron on the Let's map. Let's get more excited, Mitch. Hold Holy. And a hope and a prayer to pick up one later. So they'll take it, but they do not want to give up Ooh. any other turrets. I just had some flashbacks to old pre-reworked Italy there, as Athena surely did, taking about a huge chunk of his life out just with one javelin toss. But uh, a catch out of position there. They can really turn the tide. But there are teleports and rift, well, void rushes rather, coming all around the way. But that's just going to be a misfire. Particular rushing up and grand challenging. Speaking of Fiora. Oh, there's a flash. Flashing on towards Crazy here as well. Crazy definitely had a feeling that this will be a tough one to him for win. And Swift as well is going to get involved. It's a flash, of course, of that javelin and a cancelled teleport to the bottom side. The bot lane, you better believe that he was taking a turret down in the first place. But there's a spooky ghost. Athena, there's a lot going in towards him there. And the giant through even for doing V to try and catch him. But chains of corruption come through and it's a lot of damage being returned. It's a post giant growth Lulu. She's not going to get any more health, but somehow manages to get out. This fight's going to turn around. Ares is caught. He just escaped and now teleports for all in sundry being cancelled at least for one but lulu's not going to be able to get there fast enough in the top lane we see the 1v1 should favor the turret coming down will there be more though oh loken he goes in exhausted but he has enough damage or does he knocked up knocked back he just can't get in there in time and tct he saves the day this one and he's got cooldowns up very soon as well he won't be able to be killed by loken so he can just belt him around the head parts until he does actually fall over it's going to be a rocket jump away for loken to keep him alive a very interesting flash there from tnt but it did keep him on his feet at least that's an insane play from both parts the flash from tnt to stop there being a second auto attack to take him down, kept himself alive, and then Loka managed to buy space. Oh my. They are Swift now failing his flash here as he tries to get out of the pit, and it's not going to be long before he is converged upon. QG now starting to make some errors, stumbling a little bit as 1B is going to be caught by the chains of corruptors. Oh, the knock up on the two is just perfect, and Ares is going to make life very, very hard for V, who at least can dash away. Q. Two down for QG, and there's the snipe finish. Athena with the double kill. Athena makes it happen with the quiver, and that was a much better, well fought team fight. Crucially, this was the sort of fight that actually was happening right at the tail end of game one. Shame about the 10. 10,000 gold lead that made it all mute.
QG now. They're getting a little bit close for comfort here as V has found Crazy. They're going to do Crazy finally deciding it's his time to fight. But is it too early? Or are there too many people involved? That might be the ladder here. And the grand challenge was activated and completed. V getting some help back now. Chains of Corruption went towards Dawn B. But there's a knock up on towards two. QG now fighting back. Team fighting. Definitely their forte. And they're showing it here in true form. They are looking for it indeed. And with three members down still on the side of Ever, Swift checks a little bit face forward. And Loken will plant a bomb right in front of him. Swift and Doomby are a little low here, but they can collapse in, and in goes TCT. Flash pulverized, the headbutt was beautiful. I think he goes back over the wall. Now Loken will probably be able to get away from this for the most part. But don't, guys, notice that as well, of course, that we did see Swift destroy that tunnel because Ares was dead. He wouldn't be able to void rush back towards his Baron that QG had taken away. Tana understands she can't go anywhere near that objective just now. Starting to walk over, rises far away, 3,500 health. This should be a QG Baron. No problem at all. 26 minutes in to the game. Ever poking their noses around, looking to see if they can get a pick. There's the pillar. It's on to TCT and doing be a little low. Can they finish it? They can. One kill. They could continue going. They don't quite have the vision, though. Oh, they want to pick up as many exit kills as possible. But QG will be happy if it's just Alistair flashes down. He has so many difficulties. Swift. Uh, uh, fat no fingers. One saw that. Fat fingers. The Zonies. No one saw it, as you mentioned, but. They already can see that lead turning around. Crazy takes a big calling, and TCT's around the side making trouble again. They've managed to hold him up for a while. He's been forced to use that unbreakable will now, taking a lot of damage, but it really doesn't seem to leave a mark as he's tried to. That is a very big cow, and he's able to walk away. But Crazy there will finally put the damage down on towards him here. It's going to be able to take away this dragon here as well. And do not actually, it's the Death Dance being picked up for Athena here. Mm. Oh. Mm. Not so far behind on the gold game either, as Loka jumps in for TNT, and Whoa. that's all she wrote. That was very, very quick there. Pillar goes down, and they're still getting pushed back. They can't even stop it at this point. It could be the inhibitor under fire as Swift is pushed away. His Nidalee, as big as it is, has not been as useful in the last 15 minutes, or last 10 minutes, I should say. Inhibitor number one goes down, and surprise, surprise, it's ever taking it. With the Siege Con we talked about, the Trundle Pillar comes down and double AD, including a Chitana, a wrecking turret. QG have to make the big initiate now. Who's it going to be, though? Because another one's going down. The poke is really hurting in this Siege composition for ESC. It's just massive and cute. Swift is forced to use the Zonius. It's a Kali coming out from Swift, but he... Oh, sorry, it's Kali coming out from TNT, but Swift is almost caught there by the exhaust. PCT soaking damage for no, no reason. No follow-up available. And ESC looks like they can't be stopped. This is a team that was on the back for, what, three minutes ago, and the game is over. Double AD and Trundle is disgusting in the pushing game. And they've just pushed everything. This is going to be it. The Nexus now being contested as CQG are trying to hold on as much as they can. Grand Challenge coming down. Ares will still survive through that though. And look at this, TNT is out towards the edge. Do it be as well. Sw a QG holding on for the Just moment. Barely, it's all Swift. He's got to stay alive. No, oh. he can't do it. And then Crazy. Will fall. Crazy does it out of nowhere. He was zero and five, I believe. Now suddenly four and five. They finish off the game. Execution heavy is what we call the Varus comp here, but the moment they got the pick, the hero was Loken, remember? Just chilling in bot lane farming, suddenly with 380 items, 